get to the breaking news that happened in Dearborn. That is where police are investigating a very alarming incident that happened overnight at the Arab American News. Right, and it was all caught on camera. A very clear surveillance video, in fact. Mm -hmm. Local force Lauren Podell is inside of the news there. And Lauren, what have you learned? Well, thankfully, Rhonda and Evrod, everybody is going to be okay. And that's because this newsroom that I'm live in right now here in Dearborn was a packed house overnight. We're talking about 11 editors and reporters working on their latest edition of the Arab American newspapers that hit stands tomorrow. That's when they heard what they thought were gunshots. Now, my photographer, Jim McCardle, going to turn the camera, peek into the conference room, and you can see it's that back door with that thick plain gl pane glass that was the target for these two suspects. Now, take a look at this surveillance video, really key to the investigation. We're talking about two black males that were canvassing the back parking lot of the Arab American News right off of Chase Road near Ford Road in Dearborn. They were going car to car, looking for any that were unlocked, peeking through windows, looking through the door, clearly noticing that the lights were on and that people were inside, but that did not stop them from taking out a hammer and banging that glass. And when employees first heard the sound, they took cover. And I heard four shots. It sounded like shots, like pa, 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 four shots. So I ran immediately and I told everybody to go in safe area. And I said, these are shots. Somebody is firing at us. And then I went, took my camera. And I, you know, I took some pictures very quickly and I called 911. Now, Dearborn police can confirm there were no shots fired at this building, just the hammer banging on that glass. Right now, Dearborn police looking for those two men who they believe got away in a black Monte Carlo. We have that surveillance video posted on our website. Click on Detroit.com. If you have any information, you're asked to call Dearborn police. Reporting live from Dearborn, Lauren Podell, Local 4 News Today.